this up while we're at it. Let's try and catch Scylla. Gonna tank her ult, it's fine. We still have all the HP. Ult is also dead. Thor is going down as well. Thor? Thor? You're going down. I'm gonna go around, it's fine. I'm probably gonna get Capri as well. He's slowed, he's dead. What's up beautiful people, it's Celadon here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Medusa in Mid Conquest and Company here by what looks like an Ares in Jungle. He has a pretty good clear, but I'm not a big fan of Ares Jungle or Guardian Jungle in general. We're playing against what looks like a Scylla-Thor combo, starting off at speed. Starting off with our two. Um, we got the experience almost immediately like i said his clear is pretty insane with the percentage damage and assassin's blessing but besides the clear he can't really provide as much uh we gonna have pressure here we got a little bit of poke on Scylla and we should be able to clear faster which means that we're grabbing our one very soon here and just poking her out that's a one that's a two can we land the three no it's not there but look at her hp a little bit more poke because of the bad positioning nice okay so i can see her hp and i hate when this happens a very annoying bug she's trying to poke me out that's a big mistake thor is here so we need to chill out gonna go for smalls while aries is clearing red in our vicinity this will allow us to get all the experience at once Picking up the red buff. I'm gonna grab my three here because our clear is not suffering and our three is a very, very good burst. Also the root, which allows me to secure my one easily. We are clearing even two players, which is honestly quite insane let's put ourselves a little bit out of position maybe trying to make a play i cannot see our hp yet again very very annoying was looking for poke uh, but missed the back line which is fine she is still afraid to clear so we're in no immediate danger hit level four put it two points in my two which is my clear we're gonna get juicy here oh i'm in danger are you ready for that? I was ready go, for it. Jeff. He wasn't. As you can see, Medusa's burst is pretty insane. He's level three, jumping on level four Medusa and yeah with my one and ability to root him in place which also does quite a significant amount of damage i root him in place and just dump my one into him not a whole lot he can do about that it also when it ends it's a uh, auto attack cancel so a big burst of damage coming in immediately and at this point in the game it's really hard to counter that especially with the amount of hp he had Let's grab the totem MP5 here. I, I have enough mana, but the more the better, right? Since we have it, you, you need to utilize it. Just keep attention. Enemy Not very fortunate clearing, but it's fine. We're gonna be back and out. Oh, we gotta be careful here. They're not going my way. Otherwise, I would have gone safe right route. Back. But I think after the last death, he should should have learned the lesson. I'm gonna do something that I don't usually do. I'm gonna grab the full transcendence. Let me hold that wave real quick. We're gonna secure the wave oh. and now we're back in for a full trans. Right. Be right back. There's somewhat of a fight in right lane, but we're not gonna join in that because it's three versus three and still is farming and we have a lot of pressure on her and I wanna keep that pressure. I don't think my two hit her, but I can't tell because fucking game. Let's poke her out. She's gonna dash out with dashing for her. Enemy ultimate down. 
she needs to feel that pressure all the time. Is she actually lacking? Oh no, oh no, what are you doing? She's gonna miss most of that wave now. No problem. Let's see if the red's up. It's not, unfortunately. She still missed like four minions. Mm, I believe she missed five minions, so most of that wave in experience and gold. And now we're like pretty, pretty much ahead. Let's see. We need to slow her down. That will be her dash, but she's still spooked. Medusa's uh, ultimate is very easily to hit, but now that she just right came back. back from the base, she immediately feels the pressure of low HP, and that's exactly what I want because still it's so easy to burn down. And if she's poked out to two thirds, it's she can go down if I just rotate through my kit. I'm gonna go safe route. Thor looks like he's looking at my jungle, so I'm not gonna allow him to stun and hammer me. At this point in the game, it does pretty significant amount of damage. We stacked up our Hunter's Blessing. We have Transcendence. It's gonna soon to be stacked. We're nearing the full boots of gold, so in a couple ways we're backing for full boots. I can s Oh, hello, Capri. What you doing here? She used on the back line, which means that we still have time and ability to clear. Way, Staying in the totem range uh, for MP5. With this build, we kind of don't really run out, but with the totem, we have just so much MP5. It's not even funny. Looks like Let's the fighting building went great. They Enemy killed Ulr, nice and job. Thor is running away. Kepri is trying to mess up with me, but Scylla just dropped her whole <laughs> kit. She's no danger unless she ults. We're just gonna kill Kepri here now that he dashed into me. And there you go. I mean, the play wasn't bad. He just didn't recognize the fact that Scylla is useless. He tried to set up for her, but... This man just doesn't like his teammates to stack and be powerful, huh? Okay, sorry, you rock. Sorry. It's a lot more annoying when people just keep doing it. We have so much gold, we need to back for the full boots. Clearing this wave and going for my red buff. Don't wanna miss that. With the amount of power I already have, it's quite important to grab it. There's a chance that Thor's coming? No, he ain't Nolten just yet. I clear these into hits, which is quite nice. Looking for a Nolt here. Ah, uh, if I root her, I might have actually killed her. Let's put, oh, 302. 302 damage, holy shit. That's a lot. Yeah, my old damage is quite insane at this point, but we're really ahead. Considering how much pressure I put on her, actually, that she's just one level behind, it's actually pretty good, but Kepri helped her with that, so... I'm gonna grab these smalls. Check on the jungler speed buff. If it's up, uh, unfortunate. Okay, but it's always all uh, my good to check on it if you didn't rotate for the fight. If you take that speed buff off of a jungler, it's a pretty big hit to his farm ability. Poggers. Look Enemy like uh, in dual lane, a couple kills were returned. That's nice. Hello, Scylla. Oh, we're gonna take this poke. That's a big hit. She just dashed, so we're gonna pretend we go here. She's going into the jungle. Girl, you just dashed, what are you doing? Come here. That was a bad ult. Her burst is quite significant, but mine is way, way bigger right now. I'm gonna clear out the next wave and go for the red buff. Oh, the back line didn't clear, huh? Unfortunate. 
I'm gonna take a safe route because you never know where Thor is ulting. And I, th I thought I heard something like a Thor ult. It looks like it was just the noise. Some background noise. I don't want to show up on myself on the lane just yet. Um, Thor is in right lane. Okay, so we are, have no gank potential here. Just gonna clear this pretty safely. Not even trying to poke the back line. Minions will do. And we're gonna back for tier 2 Aussie. We three, you know, uh, we're part of almost a half of our team kills. And most of them are solo kills on my part, so pretty good. This should be up, but it isn't, huh? So Thor is somewhere around, or was it Scylla? I think it might have been Scylla. As you can see, Ares not very useful in mid lane. Ultimate is ready. Let's get some damage on her. I really wanted to dash in, but she, unfortunately she hit me with a crush and I was too low to do so. Let's put some damage on the tower and back off. Oh, she thought I was there, huh? That means she has n no words in there, and she should. She's still level 11, so she has free words. Kepri is messing up with me, let's dash out. Oh, hello Thor! Nah, that's a wasted Aegis. God damn, I almost took my pants here. But I would really love to see our support in my lane. Kepri has been here for quite a while now. Unfortunately, we got killed. That puts Thor a little bit ahead. And he's actually even with Ares right now, but still is still quite significantly behind. So it's fine. She didn't... I don't think she... Oh. Eladin, come on. What you doing, man? You saw nothing. So we're still quite ahead. We still have enough pressure. We're gonna be half level 15 at this point and she's just hit level 13 she's gonna miss the part of that wave which doesn't help her with the situation is this tower going down thor's behind me i, I can see that good dash i just really wanted to put some feeling of urgency into him so he would have to walk in here not just stand in the ward and maybe try to find a good ultimate because he doesn't know he was on the ward he could have stood there and that would have been worse instead he <laughs> was urgent and choked let's alter slow her down and now we have a free hit pre kill oh he decides to ult into me that's a bad we're gonna root him in place and he's An dead has been slain i am Enemy missing. A lot of people underestimate how much damage Medusa's dash actually does, and the little root is very disarming. Like, you just put that in, the target soaks in the damage. Let's chase her down. Can go on chase her down. She just dashed, but it looks like she went that way. Mm. I was about to steal that. Ah, the root didn't land it. It's fine. Ares, I wonder what Ares did. Hello, Scylla. Hold up a minute. <laughs> you know, you know that reference. There's like an, an amazing channel on YouTube, the girl from reviews. They have this meme. Enemy uh, missing. Really amazing channel, guys. If you don't know what it is, just check it out. It's so much fun. It's probably one of the best channels I've discovered lately. And the girl there just goes, hold up a minute. <laughs> and it's, it's amazing. They're not even my friends, they're just so good that I wanted to share the experience. So we got the rib buff, we got the smalls, and looks like they're not unaware that I'm here, which means they don't have a word, but they might be looking at the gold fury. Let's catch him. Ah, uh, he was able to turn, huh? 
A lot of times people would not turn. They would just go around the corner and face you directly. That was kind of on point there. Didn't work out. It's fine. We don't really have a use for our ultimate right now. But if we could, if that worked, I probably would be able to at least get his beats. Or if he had none, just burst him down. As a semi-ability-based hunter um, that relies on the short seconds burst, we're really looking for that crit now, now that we have enough penetration, power, and lifesteal. There's a really bad fight going on during, uh, on the Gold Fury. Our jungler isn't there, of course. Now that everybody are dead... Oh, let's, let's try and steal that. We got it. Really bad ult by Ares. Really pointless. Nobody there but uh, him and support, and they both deal no damage to anyone. And... Let's pick this up while we're at it. Let's try and catch Scylla. <laughs> yeah. Gonna tank her ult, it's fine. We still have all the HP. Ult is also dead. Thor is going down as well. Thor? Thor? You're going down. We're gonna go around, it's fine. Let's we're probably go, gonna baby. get Capri as well. He's slow, he's Fuggers. dead. I'm gonna grab this tower and go for the gold fury after that. I have a lot of powers, so we can do both. And push this wave while we're at it. Why the hell not? Make them lose as much as we can. I would have grabbed that buff as well, but it's getting to the point where it might be tricky. I'm not sure where Achilles is, I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, with my damage and Shibalonki being around, we just it's just too fast. Even on the word like true BM play, just right on the word, let them see it. They cannot do shit about it. Enemy missing. Judging by the levels, Achilles is under pressure on the lane, so he can re probably can't really leave it. So yeah, he's losing his blue buffs. So I wasn't really aware. There's too many people in mid, I'm just gonna back here instead of doing pyro. They should be doing pyro, there were a lot, uh, three people in mid and then they disappeared. No, looks like pyro is safe. What the hell are they doing? Looks like they're bunching up on right lane. Yeah, four people in right. An ally has been slain. We need to go for the big guy probably. But they're fighting Achilles instead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, I'm gonna burn this down. I can easily do it myself. But if they didn't waste so much time on Achilles, we probably could have gone for the big fire. Let's try and bait them to the fire. Hopefully somebody comes. I can burn it down. Oh, Scylla's here. But she, she is not aware. She just checked for the animation of the uh, fire pole and it wasn't there at the time, so... Somebody's around, but my burn damage... Oh, Thor! Hello, Thor! Is he gonna steal it? No, he's dead now. Let's zone ourselves a little bit, just assess the situation. Thor's out. Kepri might be dead here. No, he still had his dash. It's fine. We're gonna push the left lane now. We have a bit of minions where we do a lot of damage and with fire. Ooh, look at that damage. Achilles is here. We're gonna burn him down on the landing. Not a whole lot of poke. This man is quite tanky. My team is pushing mid. He had to teleport here. He's gonna run there now, so that means we're burning down the, the rest of the tower. No problem whatsoever. Gonna take a bit of damage for that, but we have a lot of power and Aussie with crits, so we're gonna lifesteal. As you can see, quite easily. Oh, hello, Thor. Let's play a little game. Looks like Shibalanki's gonna get soloed now. Be careful. Is he? Yeah, he got caught. He's done. It's your job not to die. Be right back. There's a really great new item they introduced half of the last season, Fail Not, that in my opinion really fits Medusa perfectly. You kinda want that crit on R1 
to just amplify the burst and it gives 20% CDR, which is an insane amount. And with Transcendence and uh, Red Pot, later in the game, I'm gonna have full CDR and that's exactly what you want on Medusa. But before you could never actually build that because mm, it's a really bad idea to build CDA, CDR on the Hunter. But with 20% on the fail knot, you have insane amount of crit. It gives insane amount of power, which is what you want with a somewhat ability-based hunter. So all the stats she needs, really. I need to group up. I'm trying to group up the team and go for the right Phoenix because it's the best Phoenix to take when you have a fire giant because it will secure most probably secure the next fire giant because one person needs to be the further away on the map. Oh, hello. Gonna secure. Yep. I slowed him down. Unfortunately, it, I didn't time it perfectly, so it hit the Aegis. Let's put this down. Whatever. But yeah, Guan also did the right thing and overkilled with his ultimate, which in this case worked perfectly. We're gonna focus on the Phoenix. Dash into the Phoenix. He would not expect that. And now you're dead. Look at this damage, man. That's a lot. Ah, I got hit by Scylla anyway. Life stealing, still life stealing. Aussie, all the way. Ruling in place. And that's a surrender vote. Thor did not anticipate me dashing into the base, but I really wanted that Phoenix to secure. Eight, one, and three. Pretty good kill participation and pretty good game overall, if I say so myself. 8, 1, and 3 out of 19 kills, over a half. We're building a lot of power. Attack speed boots are the only boots that you should go. We're building lifesteal option of Aussie because it gives power also now. And with Transcendence, it works perfectly. Rage for a lot of crit. Fail not for the rest of the crit and insane CDR and power. In terms of damage, uh, we have 20k, which is almost two times the enemy mid and which is quite significant and we also have 11 kills participation which is way over a half uh, our junglers are quite similar in damage just 1k above our solo laners 1k below him but quite similar as well our support is actually out damaging the enemy support by three times but in the capri you don't really expect player damage which is fine he also healed up 4k which is quite significant and our ADC is pretty much the same damage, a little bit ahead of the enemy ADC. So that puts this game completely on my shoulders, 100%. Well, 90% and 10% on the shoulders of Guan Yu. He still did an outstanding amount of damage, more than our solo laner support, and almost the same amount as our ADC. While also putting down the highest amount of wards as he should. And as you can see, everybody on our team, I'm second best in terms of wards which is usually I put down more than the support and everybody else put down significant amount but if you look at the enemy team mid actually put down more than the support and the rest of the guys actually didn't even put out their free word that they have the ability to put down until they hit level 12 which kinda is a very very sharp indicator and yeah Medusa game and mid guys conquests a lot of pressure good clear very very insane objective secure damage like her a lot player in duel player in conquest in mid and in hunter actually she just works she feels pretty nice in this season with a fail knot I urge you to pick her up she's really great hopefully guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like if you are new to the channel subscribe it helps me immensely if you want to ask me a question leave a comment I'm responding to every single comment on my channel and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day